Ah, we get better. Come on. Up. Oh my god. Perfect. Shit. By the end of that, that was biceps. <laughs> biceps and swaying. But, uh. That, I'm not saying that's our purpose today, but this is how we want to train. Higher intensity, get in here and rip some fucking weight, let's go. You have to be a professional before you become a professional, and that professionalism is a lot of times missed in bodybuilding. And that's who I want to be first, and then let the, let the physique speak for itself. Yo! Welcome to Gasp Cribs. I'm Derek Lunsford. I'm going to show you around my place. So, here it is, guys. This huge place. A total of probably 800 square foot. Uh, one bedroom, one bath. Very nice. It's only clean right now because I had my mom and my girlfriend down for two weeks and I just got back from a guest pose in Grand Rapids yesterday, last night. So, no thanks to me that this place is fairly picked up. All right guys, all jokes aside, I literally just rolled out of bed. Um, what time is it? Like, a little, about 8.30 and this is about the normal time that I wake up and I do my fasted cardio. So, in here I already have my pills ready to go. I usually take... If you can see here, I'll take uh, one little baby aspirin with five milligrams Yohim Yohimbine hydrochloride. This pill here is the animal energy pill. And then I have a probiotic and, and two grams of vitamin C. So this is something I take every morning uh, before I go do my fasted cardio. It gives me a little bit of extra energy, but it also helps oxidize the fat. So, but this is gonna give it a little bit boost, plus it gives me an energy boost and focus to get my 30 minutes of cardio done. Even though I'm just doing cardio, I always have to get my mind right because I'm not just going in there to stroll and get my 30 minutes done, I'm, I'm there to focus and meditate. And So if I can get in tune with myself here, in my, the first thing I do in my fasting cardio, <clears throat> I can come back and get a one meal in and I can go have a solid training session and the rest of the day is just set up for success. So a lot of people, in general, not just bodybuilders, but a lot of people like to wake up and listen to something motivational in the morning. And that kind of goes back to what I was saying about getting my mind right, is that I'm a huge advocate of, or this is just what I do, I'm not just an advocate, this is what I do daily. I wake up, probably the first thing I do, I grab my phone, and I YouTube whatever, like positive affirmations or bodybuilding motivation or whatever. And I already have like a, a playlist on my YouTube to where if I just wanna wake up and click the channel or click, click the video, right away in the first minute that I'm awake, I'm listening to something positive and something that's gonna keep me, get me focused right first thing in the day you know especially the positive affirmations or or someone that i look up to that's successful in bodybuilding or anything in life i always like to watch them first thing in the morning because they're human too guys and they go through struggles and they don't let it get to them i know i'm there My own cooked rice or cream of rice. And, and what's the difference between Uncle Ben and your own cooked rice? Yeah, there's some extra preservatives in there, extra sodium. Actually, there's a, just a, a hair of fat in it too. Mm -hmm. Like there's like, a, like two grams of fat per serving. So like taking that into consideration, that's as far as I will deviate. Okay, but it's uh, like you want to be on the protocol is much more important than the actual deviation in this case. Yes, so this was readily available to me and it's not that far off. The difference is, is I would probably be okay if I were to substitute the rice for like a bagel yeah. 
or rice for potato. Yeah. But that would be me deviating completely. Yeah. As far as I deviate is one rice to another rice. Yeah. yeah. So, so you like a blue personality. Yeah. So whatever is on the plan will get executed 100%. Yeah. Um, whereas, you know, some people, you know, they, they say, screw this meal, I want to eat. A burger today so I have yeah. a burger so yeah. for me it's like I eat cod and rice pre-workout with coconut oil that's what I'm gonna have no questions asked. Uh, yeah. and that makes you feel good and accomplished and give you fuel for the next day yeah I mean maybe like I said maybe it's not as much that I eat cod and rice pre-workout with the coconut oil I could probably have lean turkey or, or lean chicken and be just fine mm -hmm. but knowing that I'm sticking to the plan 100% and I could not do any more uh, like to be to the T. Mm -hmm. I could not give any more effort. Mm -hmm. That builds confidence like you were saying. Mm -hmm. So therefore I think it transitions into my training and transitions to my physique on stage. Uh -huh. awareness but honesty yeah because if you're not honest with yourself and you're like you know I, I think I don't feel up to par today but that, that comes with self-awareness yes because if you have proper self-awareness uh, you you're gonna be, you're gonna uh, be honest. honest with yourself and where you are and what you're doing and there, there has to be some sort of like mindset I call it the mindset of a champion knowing that you're giving 100% every day mm -hmm. you know if you leave the gym you gave 100% or not yeah right so having self-awareness with that champion mindset is a winning mentality in my opinion. Yeah. So you're talking about how everybody brings something different to the table as an athlete, whether it be as a competitor or a sponsor athlete or whatever. Uh, it took me a few years to realize that it's more than just going to the gym and training and going home and eating and going to bed. Like I had to give more to the people around me at the gym or put stuff on my social media you know, I had, I had to be more than just an athlete. You have to be a professional before you become a professional. And that professionalism is a lot of times missed in bodybuilding. And that's who I want to be first. And then let the, let the physique speak for itself. We are at the Clearwater Strip. This is about 20 minutes, give or take, traffic time from my the place I live, my apartment. And this is where I like to come down and I wouldn't say socialize, but get in unwind. out in the public, yeah, and unwind and really just relax. I, I've always been a big beach guy coming from Indiana. I've always aspired to live down here and have access to the beach very close and made that dream come true. But I think that kind of goes in, in all facets of, of life that uh, not everyone understands stuff like that yeah. quick when they're young because you need to build on it for uh, for a long time. Um, and it doesn't matter if it's like an athlete career, like a pro career, or, or, or if someone wants to have like a professional career in, 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 in some kind of work yeah. in, environment. It's, kind of like the same thing everywhere. People have a misconception, what is work? Right. Or, you know, what is bodybuilding? Or, and um, they don't have the whole package. The, the true champions, they have the whole package. High execution of, uh, of all the parts that are needed. But it's an expectation of mine to execute in all those areas that you just mentioned. Eat, sleep, train, and work on myself and be a, a better person yeah. and a better person to others. And again, that's why I said my seminar yesterday was, and I say it a lot, 
bodybuilding has made me a better dude, mm -hmm. for sure, man. Mm -hmm. Like I said, if I wanted to be, a, if I ever thought I wanted to get my pro card in in uh, bodybuilding, that I knew I had to be a professional and I need I needed to be able to treat people. But, with uh, respect but I think better. Yeah, I think what you you know alluring to is a little bit that uh, I think you 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 have an ambition to place your yeah. better person on the same level as uh, the bodybuilding career. Right. Because I think that those who fail on this is the one that, uh, you know, say those things, but, don't but they don't do it. They don't do it. Right. Like and you need to really do it on, on, on And it's, on it's awesome that you say that, because it's so true. I could just sit here and spit words out my mouth. But I've always said, even when it came, even when it came to, I decided to compete for the first show ever back in 2015. Back in 2014, when I said, I'm gonna be a bodybuilder to myself in the mirror, before I went in and hit legs that day, I've always known that I'm the type of person where if I say that this is who I am or this is what I'm gonna do, I will 100% for sure make that happen. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like today is coming to an end here at Clearwater and in Tampa. Tomorrow we fly out to New York and I'll see you guys at Bev's Gym.